Hello everyone, and in this video, you will learn how to make a responsive navbar using React.js and Tailwind CSS. First, let me show you our project. When we click this icon, you can see that we cannot scroll. The fact that we don't see a scroll, I did it on purpose, so we cannot scroll. So as you can see, we have this kind of animation. I think it's pretty cool. And I also added these cards just to fill up our page so it won't be empty. So let's get started. Here is the structure of my application. So it is a div inside. It has a navbar. And then I just show five cards just to fill up our page. OK, now let's move to the navbar. So here is how it looks right now. Here is our structure. I think it's pretty simple. So just take a look at it and let's continue. And let's actually see how our application looks like right now. So here it is. And on smaller screens, as you can see, it isn't responsive. OK, the first thing that we need to do is to create a state. So let's do it. Let's say is open. Set is open and by default, it will be false. And let's immediately create a function. So let's see toggle menu. So let's say set is open and is open. So every single time we call this function, we will switch back and forth between the current value of is open. OK, as you can see here, I import these icons from React icons library. So let's use them right here. I will say the following. So we will use curly braces and inside I will say if is open false, then I want to render the following. And inside let's import this set its size to be 30. OK, and let's also apply some styles. So let's say class name will be cursor pointer. So let's see how it looks. As you can see, it is here, but we want it to disappear on screens bigger than medium screens. So we will say hidden and it will no longer appear. And at the same time, we want these divs to be hidden on smaller screens and appear only on bigger screens. So one way to do that is to say hidden at first, and then we need to say flex, but we need to remove this one here. And let's do the following here. So let's save it. And on smaller screens, now we should see our icon. So as you can see, it's here. But now if I click, nothing is happening. And on screens bigger than 768, I should see that this icon will disappear and other divs will appear. OK, now for this icon, I will do almost exactly the same. But here I need to change our condition. So it will be is open true. And the name of our icon, it will be close. And these tiles will be the same. So now I need to call this function here. I need to say on click this function and the same here. So now we should see how our icons will change as we click them. So on smaller screens. As you can see, our icons are changing. Now, when I click this icon, I should see a menu and I will create one more condition. So I will say if is open true, then I want to render something here. And if it is false, I want to render something here. So let's say div and let's put the same here so that those errors won't bother us. OK, so if is open true, I want to show these links here. And under these links, I also want to show these buttons. OK, so let's add some styles. So let's say background color will be 800. Overflow will be hidden only by eye, only vertically. Then position will be fixed. That will be 10. So it will overlap some of our other elements. Top will be zero. Left will be zero. We want it to take the whole screen. We also want it to take the full height. And let's just say flex so that we center our content both horizontally and vertically. Items will be center. Flex will be call. Let's say gap will be 10 or 40 pixels in other words duration will be 300 milliseconds and timing function will be ease in okay and now what i'm gonna do is to copy these classes and paste it here but the only thing that i want to change here is this left property i want it to be minus 150 percent so let's go ahead and see what we have so now if i click 
we can see this animation but we cannot see our icon to close it to prevent that we need to find it so here it is and we also need to add that index but this time let's make it 20 so we make sure that it will be displayed so here it is and as you can see everything looks fine but i can scroll and I don't want it to prevent this. We can use use effect. We can use use effect hook. So let's come here and say use effect if is open. So if is open true, we should say document dot body dot class list dot class list dot add and then the name of a class that we want to add. So let's say no scroll. Otherwise, we want to say the same but remove it and our use effect will depend on is open so now we need to add this class to do that i'm going to open my index.css and say no scroll overflow hidden so let's save it let's save it here as well and let's check what we have eventually so now we cannot scroll anymore and let's add some styles for these so let's see class name will be text to excel and font will be bold so this is how our project looks like and as you can see as i change the width of the screen you can see that our timing function is working and now as you can see when our menu is open and i make the screen bigger you can see that we don't see our icon anymore but our menu is open it's still open so to prevent this unusual behavior we can use another use effect hook to prevent this so let's say use effect and let's create a function let's call it handle resize and let's say if window dot inner width is more than or equal to 768 pixels then we want is open to be false okay so here we need to say window dot add event listener and here we need to say resize and then here we need to pass our function handle resize and we shouldn't forget to clean up the event listener so we need to say return window dot remove event listener resize and then the name of our function and here our dependencies will be empty so let's save it and test okay so as you can see it is handled thanks to our use effect so when our screen is bigger than 768 our is open automatically becomes false